So I'm going to build a pond right here. I want to have a waterfall right there. I want to tell you something. People are complaining that employees are not given their two weeks notice. That would be because their employers gave them two to three days notice during a lockdown. And you know what a lot of people aren't thinking about? Because I know, because my kids are working and they were working during that time. And they didn't get unemployment three to six weeks out you know uh, if, if they were lucky they got unemployment because I know some that didn't yeah. so you expect loyalty for what you know you have to be a loyal employer to have loyal employees you have to treat people right you know it, it can't just be paying them a decent wage that's part of it and you know what? You would find out if you treated people nice and paid them decently, they would be more loyal to you. But this way, they're not. And I, I say more power to them. I, th I think that's what they ought to do. All of you guys, if you're trapped in that dead end job, they don't want to give you a raise. They don't want to help. They want to treat you like dirt. They want to throw everything on you and then blame you for everything. Because I've, I've seen it. I worked for many years. You know what? show them what's up because the only way they're going to get the message is when they don't have any employees showing up you know that is going to teach them because they've been taught some really bad habits of using people and you know users are losers you know and there's givers and there's takers and right now there's so many takers and so few givers so yeah you you guys are doing the right thing and, and i would suggest you know, go around and look at other job opportunities and then when you get that job and you know you're starting the next day go to your employer and let them know why they're not getting the two weeks notice do let them know how shitty you were treated or how you were blamed for their inept. Because I've noticed a lot of you managers, you don't know how to manage nothing. You don't know how to order enough. You don't know how to uh, help your employees when they're having a hard time. Uh, it's just terrible. Uh, like you guys need to think about who's really the problem in the workforce. Because I see a lot of uh, younger people that are very intelligent and they should be getting paid way more than they are they're working really hard and the thing about it is it's not like when we were kids and when we were younger you know our wages would have been about 150,000 a year we were making 35 40 that was good money back then because our rent and utilities and food costs were not near as high you got to think about cutting all the corners. And I'm telling you, you got to starve them out. You're going to have to start doing it. At workforce, the grocery store, at the bank. I'm telling you, show them your power. Without you, they are nothing. They need your energy. They need everything that you have and look what they have to offer 